Um, so uh, I do want to say one more word about water quality and testing, partly because of this testing that Alasta is doing and testing that Madison Health in Florida is doing. We know a lot more about when stuff gets into the rivers, and uh, frequently after rain, which is why rain is significant as well, uh, there is uh, E. coli in the river from, and fecal coliform, and you know where that comes from? From somebody's poop. Well, it's actually not coming from Valdosta. Where is it coming from? A couple of times it's come from Quitman. Wow. There have also been spills from Tifton, Adel, Ashburn, Rochelle. Those are all far enough up the river we have not been able to establish that they have actually affected the downstream rivers. But Quitman, yes, that has. But mostly it's not that. All right. So moo cows as well? Is, is that That's it. Okay. That's it. As far as we can tell. Now, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection asked me to be careful how I say this. Okay. When have you ever been careful? Um, <laughs> most of the time, really. Okay. So FDEP, as they call themselves, so that's what I call them, FDEP, uh, they do a DNA marker and chemical tracer testing from time to time. They tested after the last big rain, not this one we just had before that. The Saturday rain. Right, and they tested uh, on numerous times before, and this last time, as before, the human markers, this is like only once they were even, uh, the human markers were not detectable. There were some human tracers, but they were things that could have come all the way through the uh, wastewater treatment because they don't break down. What was high was a DNA marker for ruminants. Now here's where they asked me to be precise. Ruminants could be giraffes or... Oh, stop. Uh, they might have a few of those at, at Wild Adventures. I don't know, but not enough to call this. They could be sheep. And um, they could be deer. But, you know, frankly, I don't see how there's enough sheep or deer to cause the kind of numbers we saw. And if that's what it is, why are the numbers on the Lapa always way lower than the Withacuchi? Now, what other ruminants are there? We know in Brooks County, Georgia, there's 10,000 or more cattle. And there's more in Colquitt County. There's actually some upriver on the Withacuchi upstream from Louds County and Valdosta. Uh, and uh, that's almost certainly, I think, where they're coming from. But we can't say definitely because the DNA test is not that precise. But simply by the sheer numbers, it's like, what else could it be? Now, I hasten to add, some of the cattle dairy farmers are being extremely cooperative. They don't want me to name who they are, but uh, they're taking all sorts of measures that actually already started before the big spill that provoked all this testing, and, such as fencing the cattle away from waterways, and uh, they've actually been shipping some cattle out to a faraway state to reduce the density of the population. So they're busy doing stuff. They're being part of the solution. And John, I'll point out, um, unfortunately, there's sometimes the water comes to the cow. Um, I took a Lowndes County, Brooks County, Cook County swing mm -hmm. right after that Saturday flooding, probably about Tuesday after that Saturday flooding rain. Mm -hmm. And and the there were rivers in the middle of fields that were never there before, and the cows were seeking high ground and everything mm -hmm. else. So unfortunately, in a massive, in a big mm -hmm. rain event like that, upriver from us and about five mm -hmm. or six inches here, yeah, uh, yeah. we get an unfortunate result, yeah. which is the middle of the field gets washed clean. Okapilco Creek rises right into cow pastures. Yes, we're aware of that. We're actually um, in cooperation with South Georgia Regional Commission. We're working on figuring out where those places yeah. are and Beautiful. contacting the owners. Because as I say, the ones we have contacted so far, they want to be part of the solution. And there's even some possible grant money to help them do these things. And Floridians, I hasten to add, it ain't just Georgia. I know you all think it is. But I can take you to a place on the Withacoochee River, not far into Florida, where cows walk right down into the water. And there's big dairies farther south of Solana County. And uh, also, there's places with large numbers of septic tanks that are very near the river. So while, yes... Currently, much of this, as far as we know, is coming from Georgia. There's possibilities in Florida. The reason we don't know more in Florida is, did I mention, FDEP could do it. If Valdosta can do it on 40 river miles, FDEP, the state of Florida, could test the rest of the way all the way to the Gulf. That'd be beautiful. All right, we're all better working this solution together. That uh, goes for Florida, that goes for Valdosta. 
um, South Georgia and Walls, and they have a great uh, effort as well. And John, joy to have you. Thank you for helping me organize. Well, go ahead and talk about the Banks Lake real quick, the date. The uh, Banks Lake is uh, Thursday, the 28th. Please show up by 5 o'clock, and we'll paddle out to watch the sunset and moonrise. And uh, we're putting up a whole bunch more water trail signs on the Lapa River Water Trail. And on the Withacoochee, could y'all please stop shooting up our signs? The ones at Knights Ferry are just full of holes. And somebody stole one of them at Nankin. Those things cost us money to replace. Thank you. And then February 6th, the mayor's panel. Yes. Please. Join us at 9 that morning earlier if you want to shovel your vehicle and then get back to the starting point. And we'd love to have you. It's at the uh, Troopville boat ramp left at Valtech Road instead of turning right. And then we drop right down to that boat ramp and a whole bunch of uh, like-minded people. Come on. Come on out. And uh, any elected officials, Florida or Georgia, especially Florida or Georgia, any elected officials, please come and we, you will have a chance to speak. And everyone, please come early, say the show. Fantastic. All right, quick break. We'll play a little catch up and come back and wrap up what's been a fantastic Monday of Discovery. Thank you to our county government and to John Quarterman as well.